Hi YouTube, this is uh, Empress Jack Rabbit. I think I, on my last video, I forgot even to say who I was. <laughs> but, um, I'm just catching up on some readings I wanted to do since I'm off today. It's Friday, October 30th. Uh, tomorrow is October 31st, Halloween. But it's also Nevada Day, so that means that schools and banks and things like that are closed today. And, um... So I have an opportunity really to um, catch up on some recordings I've been wanting to do. I did um, um, Raven Simone, so now I thought I'd look at Meek Mills. I'm late, but better late than never. <clears throat> I think I really want to know what was making him tick, because uh, he was talking a lot of mess towards Drake and I guess Wale, and uh, I'm like, what is going on with you? You know, you just um, popped up out of nowhere. I mean, not, not out of nowhere out of it as being an artist. Um, he's out of uh, Philadelphia, I believe. But um, he was more, I don't know, laid back, he seemed like. And as I take a look at him, his birthday is May 6, 1987. So he's a Taurus. And uh, the t I know Taurus. I'm not an astrologer, by the way. I prefer numerology. But I do know uh, with Taurus, they tend to be more laid back. Unless they're really pushed up against the wall, then they're going to come out swinging. They don't have a uh, refineness or a finesse. They have a gusto for life, a real love of life and food and sex and um, sleep and and good TV shows and good, good music, usually very musical. Um, they're almost like a, a bull in a china shop. They, they don't deal with the refinements of things. Um, and nor do they ever really send out the first shots. Like I said, they have to be pushed in the direction and then they're going to come out really swinging. And, um, and they kind of just walk away after they're done, not feeling bad about it but feeling like I tried to warn you you know don't don't uh, wake up a sleeping dog um, with him in his early days there was a lot of change and transition in his life a lot of moving a lot of people coming in and out a lot of changes within himself I don't mean big changes like across the country I mean or across his town or his city or he maybe saw his uh, parent or parents with different people. He probably had a lot of friends coming in and out of his life. Always busy doing a variety of things. Not real focused, say, on education or college or that type of things. He was really wanting to um, get in the world and to explore life with both hands full. Um, not a bad person, just alive and curious. That type of a person. Um... His self that we see, his outer self, is, he looks like a number two. He's really an 11, and that is a master number. And I think that, for me, is a harder master number, um, simply than, than the 22. The a number 11 person experiences a lot of karma that is drawn to them, whether they 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 want it or not, or they've done something or not. It's as if they had past life experiences, and now they've got to uh, be held accountable, good or bad, for what transpired in early, in earlier lives or earlier times in this life. And so, um, he definitely has that going on real strong. Um, um, and sometimes being that 11, if there's not drama coming to you automatically, you can behave a little recklessly and, um, and have it drawn to you. What's interesting to me, though, is that he's, uh, after his birthday, which was May 6th, like I said, he went into a number one year. So that means that everything that happened before that, that, that nine year, everything that culminated from that, that nine years ago cycle starting at year one, to year nine, which was um, all the way up till his birthday, is gone or will be gone, or he had to let it go. And if he's not willing to let it go, it's being taken away from him. He's being knocked down, drug out, because he's not willing to let go, whether it's changing his style, 
in his rap game, whether it's adding more to it or taking away from it. Um, the reason why he really came out looking like a fool with the Drake situation um, his, was his willingness not to let things go regarding any personal issues they had or trying to drum up the old way he used to be with rap battles and stuff or maybe on the streets where he grew up or whatever. But that's gone for him. And it's so gone that the universe used Drake, I think, as a tool to really stomp it out or stomp him down. It is not that he cannot rap. He was a gifted rapper. Truly he is. He's a gifted artist. But he's got to come out with new and better. Because he got shown right to his face that what you're doing is okay, but take it up to the next level. You must. This year he will. We also know that um, prior to his birthday, May 6th, and, and all on back the months before, he started running with Nicki Minaj. If that's not over, it will be shortly. You see, If you read these blogs, you're reading a lot of bull. They're supposed to get a house and yada, yada, yada out in California. I can't see him doing that. He's really not a person right now that's really looking to be that committed and that tied down. And nor is he a fool for too long. And what I mean by that, if she's jumping on him rather than dealing with her safari situation, because she's got her own situation that she's trying not to deal with, um, you don't be with nobody 12 years and then boom, in one day it's over. Because even if you move on to the next person to help you get over, you're still tied to that last person. Too many years have transpired um, spiritually, emotionally, um, physically, psychologically, on many levels, they still tie together. And putting Meek Mills in it as a fool, it's go he's going to open his eyes to see that. And even if they moved in together, it's nothing that's going to last. Any relationship started in a nine year are not meant to last. Um, they fall apart naturally, or we find that we are not compatible at all, or it was a sexual thing, or it was a brief passing but it wasn't meant to stay so that relationship won't stay in his life and he's probably the better for it because once again here is another number nine person showing that honestly he is a good person he tries to do for people in his life in his entourage whatever he can do to help those people he's always right there he's got a generous nature and a really um a good heart um there's a there's a kindness to him, but um, he's also really um, going to be coming into not yet, but going to be soon a real nurturing person. I really feel like that lesson that that lesson with Drake, he's not going to really learn it in a way that we're supposed to. Okay, this is where you know we're supposed to be. Look at what I do. Look at what he does. How can I improve? How can I up my game or my rap style or whatever or the things I'm talking about um, metaphorically, lyrically on this grander level, which he could. Number one, uh, Meek doesn't have that type of drive or energy like that. Um, Tourists have a tendency. They'll work hard to a point, but they're not going to. And I'm not saying all of them, but the ones I know, they're not going to push themselves um to some point where, um, I don't know, where they're just doing so much. They're just not that type of person. And then um, he's going to continue to hold that battle like you think he'd let it go and everything. No. He's going to continue to wrestle like that. That made him give a, uh, create a feeling of victimness that he may not express it in public, but any times he raps, if you listen to his lyrics, it's going to be something that is going to come up. As if he's in a constant battle. You know, it's like if you're at work and somebody says something real shitty to you. And you know you should have said something. Now you're in your car thinking about what you would have said. Or if you was in the streets, it would have went down like this and that. And it's constantly in your mind when you lay down. When you get up the next day. Now you never go there. You really don't, for the most part, to set them off or tell them off or whatever. You're trying to keep your little piece of job. Or you used to be the big, bad person, but you're not anymore. Um, and that's the reality of it. 
But you're always in this constant argument in your head. So much so that even when you're in your thoughts by yourself, you're thinking about it, about it. You have to almost wake yourself up like, you, like you're talking to them in your mind. He will continue to have that. Um, he's going to be a really great nurturer behind that. Nurturer for other people and other artists. He's going to be a nurturer in his life and his relationships and um, with his family. Um, he'll be generous. He's going to be very supportive. He's going to end up being somebody different than what we know. like Almost like a family person as time goes on. This is as time goes on. And then in the end, he's going to get real quiet as he gets into early, I mean, excuse me, to later life. He's going to get real quiet, and he's going to always be focused on that battle and what he could have said and what he should have said in that opportunity. Even when he went to Toronto and could have clowned all over Drake and didn't. And he'll always be writing lyrics or making beats on something based on that. Um, good enough person, um, he's had a, a lot of hardships and a lot of things to overcome. Um, good that he gets Nikki out of his life or she moves on. She's kind of like a butterfly <clears throat> where she'll lose interest probably before he does because he's a bit stodgy, meaning that he doesn't really open up to a lot of change and a lot of differences and, uh, you know, trying different foods or going different places or spending um, a lot of money just to flaunt or pop bottles and stuff like that. Not that much of him. Um, but that's Meek Mills. Um, you know, like a, a real, real common dude out the hood that made it big and was the neighborhood hero. And then the bigger bully came and knocked him down. And he's going to be forever in that battle, in his spirit and in his mind. It will not be on the forefront so much for you to see. But I think if you listen carefully to him lyrically, you'll find that out. But anyways, if you like it, comment, thumbs up, um, hit the like button, all of that. Um, but this is Jack Rabbit, and have a fabulous Friday.